Zayn El Amin has led University of Maryland students to Egypt for the last three years for a literature and globalization program. The amount of ground we covered was tremendous. We had Cairo, Luxor, the, we went to uh, Dahab uh, in the Sinai area. This year, he and his students left Egypt only three days before signs of the revolution began. One great moment uh, for me was when a sailboat came to pick us up for a trip and it had a Bob Marley flag and a Tunisian flag. That's the only hint. You know, we had, when we left, we had no idea that the revolution was in the works. El Amin watched the beginning of the revolution from Lebanon. It was really, really amazing to be there during that time. It was like having a front seat to the revolution. Now, he watches developments from his home in Washington, D.C. He remains hopeful. I'm very optimistic that they will uh, that they will overthrow, that you can't stop this movement. And rather than be concerned with who the next leader will be... What's more important to me is what kind of system of government they decide to, to, to support. El Amin says he hopes the study abroad program will continue to take students to Egypt. If the forces for democracy, if this youthful uh, movement wins, that I would hope to go next year to be showing uh, students uh, what's it like in the new Egypt. And I would hope it would be a moment where for a change the, the Middle East would be an example for democracy. A world of change, a world away, and hope for a free Egypt. In Washington, I'm Jessica McLeod for CNS-TV.